Okay, everybody, welcome to PowerShell. Okay, so let's get in here and let's mess with some of this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, here's my octet. Then in the last octet, you probably want to iterate from 1 to 255. Then you can just do a for each. So you can say, okay, give me the last octet, pipe for each right, and then increment this last octet. So you're going to increment octet with last octet like that. So just a real quick for loop that iterates through all of them. Just like that. So let's clear the screen. Let's paste this in and then boom. Now you have your printed out list of IP ranges that go from 1 to 255. Now I know you probably look at this and you think, yeah, big deal. Trust me, yes, it is a big deal. If you're like me, when you're on your pen test, I like to take output from my tools and feed that output into my command line scanners or my GUI-based scanner. So let's say for this example, Nessus. When I scan with Nessus, I upload files that contain the subnets that I want to scan. That's a way that I deal with exclusions and all of that. Being able to, from a command prompt, generate IP lists, you're going to find this actually pretty handy. OK, so then the next part is, if you want to do that, then how do you do an actual ping sweep? So a ping sweep is going to be a little trickier because you need to build two different sets of objects. <clears throat> so you're going to see the system.net right here, IP1. So your system.net IP start, so you get this address, right, and then you reverse it. And that now becomes the actual IP address. You see how it has a join. Then you're going to do the exact same thing with IP2. And that's why it has this join. And now here's the magic. Here's your for loop. 4x equals IP1, while x is less than or equal to IP2 incremented. And then after you built that out, now you can bring this, build this ping variable, new object system.net network.ping, new IP. So here's your IP range, and we're going to go from .1 to 150, and for each in that, we loop through it. And now you're going to see that we want to print out if we can successfully ping that host or not. Boom. Now it's ping sweeping. So you're on a machine that you've broken into and you don't want to install in that. You want to be able to do a lot of your command line stuff right literally from that command line. Doing a ping sweep will probably be one of the steps. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.